What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, I don't know what's going on with President Biden's dog, but I do know this. If his dog was owned by m me or you or almost anybody else, anybody who wasn't part of the ultra elite, that dog would have been put down a long time ago. I'm not advocating this. I love animals. I love dogs. But I know the law. I know what the law states when it comes to these types of uh, behaviors. So, President Joe Biden's dog, Commander, has bitten people on multiple occasions, both in Washington, D.C. and in Delaware. During a four-month stretch last year, U.S. Secret Service Communications show. According to emails obtained by the conservative group Judicial Watch, Secret Service personnel reached out to the agency several times with concerns about the 22-month-old German Shepherd and his aggressive behavior between October 2022 and January 2023. The communications, which were obtained via a Freedom of Information Act request, documented 10 incidences in particular including one where an officer had to go to the hospital after Commander bit his arm and thigh. In another instance, the dog bit an agent so hard he left cuts and bruises on the agent's arm. The White House on Tuesday told CNN that the Commander, who moved to the Capitol in 2021, is working on new training. Well... I also see that in addition to several documented instances of biting, there were other incidents that involved the dog being off-leash on the White House grounds. On one occasion, according to a Secret Service staffer's email, First Lady Jill Biden was unable to regain control of the dog when it charged at an agency employee. The email stated at the time, I believe it's only a matter of time before an agent-slash-officer is attacked or bit. Look, <clears throat> most states, uh, most states have a law or rules or how you want to put it, at, stipulations, where a dog can only get away with one to two incidences where they bite someone before the court will rule that dog be put down. This is 10 in a four month span. And I don't like talking about animals being put down, but I mean, if they, now look, maybe they got a hold of it. <clears throat> maybe the animal won't act this way. Maybe there is something going on that's aggravating this dog. But at the same time, 10 and four months, I mean, I would think that after there's been a couple of incidences, he'd be on a chain or a leash, and people would be a certain distance away. Um, you know, why are so many people getting bit by this animal? But, you know, <clears throat> I've read some things about Joe Biden in the past, and I read when he was vice president, he could be very careless in, in, in how... <clears throat> careless and thoughtless in a lot of ways. He was careless in how his presence could affect traffic, uh, could affect um, people maneuvering around the Secret Service, the Secret Service in general. Uh, I forgot some of the details, but he would move in a way that would stress the Secret Service, right? Um, overtaxing them. So, some of these things I'm hearing now, now that he's the big honcho, <clears throat> don't surprise me. But the shit with the dog, I mean, can't have a dog doing that, man. You know, you just can't. Can't have a dog going around terrorizing staff and shit like that. Making people uneasy. So, I just put that out there, man. But tell me what you guys think.